So the topic of today's sermon is your role. One very important thing that the Buddha always taught was you have to know the person and you have to know yourself. And in this case, what it means is that you have to play your role correctly. I'll give you a very simple example. If you are a boss and you listen to your employees too much, you defer to your employees too much, and you trust your employees too much, you're not playing the role of a leader. Therefore, that in itself can lead your business or your situation to worsen. However, if you're the employee or you're the follower, but you are too conscientious, you think too much, you offer too much information, you try to lead too much, you tell the boss what to do too much, you also are not playing your role. And in this situation, you end up causing the situation to fail also. The same thing happens for every situation. There's a given social role that socially people <coughs> conform to, such as parents and children. The parents have a, have a situation, have a need, and the children have a need. Each person has to play their role. If they play their role incorrectly, that can lead to an improper future. Now, sometimes problems happen, and we don't understand why it happened. But one of the things that we can always do is mm -hmm. refer back to ourselves. Have we played our role properly? Sometimes for some people, like a landlord, you might let your, uh, your renter have everything they want. And then later on, <coughs> you wonder why they're so bossy, they're so picky. It's because you gave in to everything that they wanted. <coughs> You're the one that started this. Therefore, if you want to fix it, you have to fix it at you. You can't fix it at them. Therefore, one important thing that I want you to remember is play your role correctly. Don't just do what you want, but you have to do what the role requires. Otherwise, when something goes wrong, you won't know who to blame.